last question, the next question is from me. So it's a very big about uh, coronavirus. So Czech, Slovak, uh, Czech Republic, the Cardinal Duke and the Germany's largest uh, newspaper built. And yesterday, Wall Street Journal uh, had a article from Mr. Pompeo. It's all confronting, all saying that the virus is a lab originated uh, uh, biological weapon. So is the world finally waking up and what is going on here? Thank you. What amazes me about the piece from, from Secretary Pompeo and the results throughout the rest of Western Europe is the willful blindness, the willful blindness of the world's medical establishment, medical establishment, not individual voices in the, in the medical field, but the medical establishment institutionally, whether it's WHO, whether it's NIH, et cetera. Uh, the willful blindness not simply to look the other way, but to support the Chinese Communist Party's biological weapons program. It's obvious to anybody that has any a scintilla of knowledge of following this, what generally occurred. And more importantly, we have a voice of like John the Baptist in the, in the New Testament. We have the voice of Dr. Li Ming Yan, who is to me a, uh, a global hero. And, and, and shows the great fighting spirit, tenacity and courage of the Chinese people. You know, she came from the, from the, from the obviously from Hong Kong back in, what was it, April, to tell the world exactly what happened as a fact witness from the WHO reference lab, but also as a scientist to walk through what had happened. And the world went out of its way not to listen to her because it kowtows to the Chinese Communist Party's money. Money. That's what we have here, money. So no, I think what Pompeo did was very powerful. We obviously support it. We talk about it every day. You know, on one of the biggest entertainment shows here on HBO, the Bill Maher show, he's a comedian, but he's a very big political com commentator. I was on his show about a year ago, right when we started the pandemic, and they didn't want us to talk about it. They didn't think it was important enough at the time. He had a group of investigators that came on two weeks ago. And these people said, hey, this came from the lab. And it's not from a bad cave. It's not from the wet market. This came from that Wuhan lab. And it's made in the Wuhan lab. And he goes, well, why haven't more people backed it up? Why are we you into it and still a discussion? He goes, she goes, because the messenger was the wrong guy. That was me. The messenger is the wrong guy because I'm so partisan, right? I'm such a populist. I'm such a nationalist. I'm such I'm such a supporter of Lao Beijing that they think, oh, that just been in arguing for the little guy in China because he hates the CCP and he wants to blame the CCP. They didn't really do it. That's just Bannon being, you know, his, he and his crazy friend, Miles Guo, and all these crazy people with the new federal state and all these these people outside the embassies. They're all nutcases. They're all they all hate the CCP so much. Because they took their money, they took their they took their uh, bank accounts, and they drove them out of China. And so they're just they're just haters. They just hate, and that's all they're trying to do is blame the CCP for everything, right? If it rains, it's the CCP's fault. Now you're seeing the world, world can't hide from the truth. What did Dr. Li Ming Yang say? World can't hide from the truth. Ultimately, just like in the Uyghurs, the world can't. Hide. And I think our mission, our mandate. This is why I love doing your show and all the great questions is to continue not to back off one second of one day, right? Our, our moral obligation, our moral obligation to mankind, to our own countries, but most importantly to the Chinese people is to, is to fight for their freedom every day by exposing the truth. And this Wuhan lab is, once again on the show today, we're gonna have a big section on the Wuhan lab. And listen, remember in the United States, what happened in Wuhan is gonna have huge political blowback here because Tony Fauci's Hands are all over it. So you look, the number one guy, he rated higher than, 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 than Trump last year. The media praised this guy, he couldn't do any wrong. Tony Fauci's hands all over this virus. His hands and his funding of the gain of function experiments that went on unsupervised in Wuhan under PLA uh, authority, People Liberation's bioweapons program financed partly in a small part by American taxpayers who are totally blind to what happened here with Fauci and others. You know, the question is, where were the French? Where was the West? Where's the World Health Organization, the, re the reference lab in Hong Kong? You know, all the safeguards that were supposed to be put in place. Where were they? 
And I think, because I'm not a conspiracy theory guy, but there are no coincidences. I strongly believe that the reason you're seeing these institutions so support the nonsense about the wet market and the bat cave is they understand when the truth's exposed, it's going to come back on them. That they have been partners to the Chinese Communist Party. That's what we have here. They've been partners to the Chinese Communist Party. So thank you. It's a great question. Okay, thank you, Mr. Bannon. So uh, next one from Dr. Stella. Hello, Mr. Bannon. Hello, so, Doctor. A wave of the CCP's 50 cent internet army has spread on Twitter in the past weeks, and they attacked you, Mouse, and Dr. Yan personally with cartoons. It's so prolific that they almost hijacked hashtags Yan Li Meng, Steve Bannon, Mouse Quark on Twitter. How do you feel about this? I feel great. I think that shows you how much they fear us. The, the Wu Mao army, remember the, the director of national intelligence uh, came up and said, uh, and said about, um, it said about uh, uh, the, the interference in the election. Remember, Mike Lindell and others are being sued by Dominion Voting Systems. They're saying, hey, the Chinese Communist Party directly intervened in the voting machines. I, I, I don't know. I haven't seen enough evidence of that. But the director of national intelligence, the, the report that was mandated in, in 2018 about foreign interference in elections, did miss the 45 day deadline. It wasn't delivered until the closing days of the Trump administration. And what did the director of national intelligence and for your audience, that's where the CIA reports to. That's where DIA reports to. It's the overall a senior intelligence official in any American government. 17 separate uh, intelligence agencies report up to them. His report was there was foreign involvement and it was the CCP. And it came through the implication was through the social media side of guess what? the Wu Mao 50 cent army. So no, it's out there. I, I wear it as a badge of honor when they attack me. I, I think it's fantastic because people can see through it and see that they're afraid of us. And they are, they should be afraid of us. Remember, when the CCP falls, everybody in the Wu Mao 50 cent army is gonna be, have to help be held accountable for their actions. So no, I, I think it's actually, it shows you how afraid of Dr. Yan they are, how afraid of Miles Guo, how they fear the whistleblower movement, how they fear the new federal state of China, and, uh, and me as a very small supporting actor to that great cause. Uh, folks, it's not, I got a pop to get ready for the show, but I want to thank you so much. Questions are always great. Best interview I do every week. Okay. Toughest questions. Thank you, Mr. Bannon. We're, we're going to pop more and more fantastic questions for you and for waiting for your fantastic, fabulous answers in next week. Thank you, Mr. Bannon. Let's take great. down the CCP. Take down the CCP. Great great show, guys. Thank you so much for having me on. Great honor. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Mr. And Bannon. Thank you, Mr. Bannon.